Hi everyone, welcome to um, the first episode of the PB London Talks where shortly we'll be joined by Ryan Power. Um, I'm Lolly, I'm the Editorial Assistant at Professional Beauty for the day. It's really great to have you all here. So we'll just give it a second for Ryan to join and then we'll get on with the talk. Hi Ryan! Good morning, how are you Lolly, alright? I'm good, thank you, how are you? Yes, I'm very well. Thank you very much for asking. Good, good. So we're here today to talk a bit about uh, PV London. Are you excited to be back? Very much so. It's funny because the way that the sort of calendar was scheduled, it feels like we've only just come back in some ways, right? It must have been, uh, especially for you guys, trying to get everything organised in such a short period of time. But um, yeah, really excited to be back. I feel that uh, the, a lot of has moved on again already since we were there last. Obviously, uh -huh. the last time out, it was kind of like restrictions had just dropped. And I think at that point, there were still some people that maybe weren't comfortable with going to a large event of that sort. Um, but I think that, you know, a lot of that has now um, sort of decimated again. So I think there's going to be a great turnout. I, for one, you can probably tell I'm pumped. I'm excited. I can't, I can't wait to get back to XL again. Yeah, we're really looking forward to it. So uh, we're going to talk today a bit about how to use social media um, as like the ultimate marketing tool for your salon. So what do you think are the most common mistakes salon owners make when they're drafting up their marketing and social media plans? Well, I think one of the I think one of the biggest problems in terms of when people are drafting up their plans is actually not drafting them up. Right. And just kind of like doing everything on the fly not really giving it quite the uh, thought um, that needs to go into it. Because one of the things with social media, especially organic social media, yeah. which is kind of like what most people don't know, some people are running ads as well, but for most, most traditional um, small businesses certainly are kind of based you know, using the organic, um, the organic route. And the, one of the main things with that is you need to be consistent. And you have to be consistent and you have to be posting with regularity and you have to be not only posting regularly, but also getting that engagement with your community, with your followers to make sure that your message is getting across. And yeah. if you're trying to do that just on the fly in between appointments all the time, for example, then that's going to show. So it's definitely worthwhile actually giving it some real thought. And in my opinion, there's no real excuse not for doing that because they make it so easy for you now, right? Everyone has got access to the Creator Studio. They even do it now where you've got a little picture of a little calendar and you can yeah. see where all the posts go, right? And it makes it so easy. And for years, I've been recommending that people just take an hour, 90 minutes each week, just map out the whole week, right? And then you never have to miss a beat. You never have to worry, or oh, have I posted something? Haven't I? Do I need to do something on the fly? Get it out there, get it scheduled and actually give it some thought and consideration because that's going to be much better appreciated by both the platform you're posting on and also your clients as well, right? It's gonna, it's gonna come across better thought out. So, and then you can still just drop the odd live bit in or your odd before and after, whatever it might be of what's going on at that time, but better to have too much content than not enough, I always think. So I think that's one of the, the biggest problems is that people just, they don't give it enough thought in advance and it's, it's too on the fly, you know? Yeah, and when it comes to getting that engagement with clients, getting them commenting on your pics, what do you think is the best way to do that? Well, typically the best way to get engagement is to ask for it. Mm -hmm. And I know that seems um, kind of like an obvious thing to do, but most people don't, right? And you do need to ask for the engagement. So there's a few things that you can do. And if... I think we might have just frozen. I'm not sure if it's me or Ryan. Oh, sorry. Am I, am sorry. I here? Sorry, sorry my watch. phone locked. <laughs> <laughs> um, hopefully you can still hear me, can you? Yeah, all good. Okay, fab. Um, yeah, so one of the things, as I say, is you definitely need to ask for that engagement. And a lot of people, they get sort of a bit of a bugbear and they say something like, oh, well, it's not fair because 
I put up this picture of like the best balayage I've ever done um, or the best results for like this client treatment that I've had and I only got three likes. And then I put up a picture of my dog and it got 45 likes. And why is that, right? And the answer why is because people prefer dogs to before and after pictures, right? It's kind of obvious, really. So you have to use that to your advantage. So if you know that your clients are going to respond better to some stuff which is not about your business, then that's fine. Just post some of that stuff as well. The idea that everything has to be about your business is bonkers. People want to know the person behind the business. They want to know the person behind the brand. Ultimately, people buy people, right? It's difficult to have a relationship with a faceless brand. I mean, I don't know how you feel about, I don't know, um, Southern Gas, for example, <laughs> right? But I mean, I've got, obviously, I couldn't tell you a thing about them, right? Because I don't know anything. It's very difficult to have that with a brand. So this is why it makes sense, especially for local businesses, especially for small businesses, to show more of yourself. People are gonna relate to that. It is gonna draw them much, much closer. So you do need that sort of um, sprinkling, but also questions are really, really good for engagement. If you flat out ask someone a question, you know, we are hardwired as human beings to want to answer questions, especially if we know the answers to them. So if you're asking questions that you know your audience are gonna have the answer to, then that is more likely to get you that engagement, right? Or just flat out ask for the engagement, you know? There's no harm in having on your post, you know, comment if you think X, Y, Z, share your favorite emoji if you agree with me, that sort of thing. And the way that the algorithm works, if, if the first, in like the first hour or so, if a lot of people do that, then it's gonna show your post to loads of people. If no one engages, that is a sign to the um, channel that meh, people are interested, sorry, and they won't show it to as many people. So um, it is worth doing. And that is why, again, you know, if you're doing a video like now, then ask for engagement. In fact, let's do that right now. If you're enjoying this, like this video, right? Give it a like. Let us know that you're enjoying it, right? <laughs> Share it to your stories if you think this is useful. Because people will do that, but sometimes they need little prompts and little reminders, you know? Yeah. Um, obviously, we've got PV London coming up in April. You're going to be hosting our digital skills stage. Are you excited to be back hosting? Very much, yeah. So, um, yeah, so it's, it's business stage, marketing and social media. I'm super excited. There's always a wonderful array of speakers. Uh, and the benefit for me is I get to listen to all of them. So, yeah, so I'm going to be hosting that stage. I'll be introducing all of the speakers. And then in true PB uh, fashion, there will be a Q&A at the end of each talk. So I'll be hosting that as well and running around with the microphone to get all of the questions from everyone in the crowd. So really, really excited for that. And my understanding is I think we've moved this year as well. Is that right? The stages have moved, I think. Is that, is that, um, I imagine that or is that correct? I believe some of them have. I'm not sure if all of them have, but definitely got stages the show floor this year as well which will be really good and you're Excellent. doing it well do you want to give us a little sneak preview of what you'll be talking about at the show yeah absolutely so uh yeah in addition to um hosting the stage i'm also speaking on the same stage as well on monday uh through i've got some notes somewhere. two o'clock two o'clock on monday and the title of my presentation is going to be how to use social media to attract more dream clients than you will ever possibly need. So I'm big into client attraction um, and the right clients, right? Um, you don't want the wrong people in your business. It's just exhausting for everyone. So there are certain things that you can do to encourage the right people to come and work with you. And thankfully, as luck would have it, that's uh, especially easy to do on social media. So that is what my presentation is going to be all about. It's going to be getting more of the right people into your business and doing it organically using social media. So this is a brand new presentation that I've written uh, exclusively for Professional Beauty. So I'm super excited to share that with everyone on Monday. Well, everyone needs to get their ticket for Ryan's seminar at three o'clock on Monday. They ticket do, I agree. Tickets for all the stages are now live on our booking platform. So you can go and book onto all the seminars and stages. If you're having any issues booking on, feel free to message us on Facebook 
or email us at professionalbeauty.co.uk and we hope to see you all there on April 3rd and 4th at Excel London for PB London. Yeah, yeah, no, super excited. It's going to be br absolutely brilliant. I'm so pleased that the tickets are now available. Uh, everyone, go and grab them now. Don't wait. Go and grab your ticket. Make sure you get a ticket to come to see me as well on the Monday at two o'clock. And also come again. Yeah, come and give some love to the marketing and social media stage because I know there's going to be an awesome lineup of speakers. It's going to be some sharing, really good content. I tell you, last time out, Lonnie, I have my, my pen and my paper and I was furiously scribbling <laughs> notes down, as was everyone else. So there was some really, really good stuff shared last time. So whilst yeah. it's important to go and see all the big brands and get your, your goodies and everything, whilst that is important at PB, it's also really important to use the opportunity to actually expand your knowledge base as well. And you can do it all under one, one wonderful roof. Exactly. Thank you so much, Ryan. And we hope to see you all at PB London. I'll see you there. Thanks, Ryan. Bye, everyone. Thanks, Lonnie. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye. Oh, what?